The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Welcome, welcome to Unhinge with the Door Dork. Today, we do have a very special guest, Alex Bouchel with LearnGlazing.com. Yep. You said it was going to be a lighter mood, man. This got pretty intense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's let's jump on to the next one. Let, next right. one is probably a little bit lighter. Are you ready? Oh, that's fun. That's fantastic. All right. It took me a second to realize this was two pictures. Two All different right. doors, um, but surprisingly, the same company is servicing them. I honestly don't think that company did these installs. These feel very homemade fixes. Oh, absolutely. This is all yeah. definitely added post. I mean, you can even see that they didn't even use all of the screws on on that little. Yes. Um, yeah. They, they like ran out of uh, nuts and bolts or uh, uh, rivets, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but then like the, the left one and the bottom right one don't even have one. But like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that'll hold it. <laughs> yeah, that's but also, like this one in particular, what what do you notice about it? Uh, well, okay, so it is a pull. So I'm seeing that this is the exterior, and I'm wondering why you would lock the exterior of of <laughs> of this thing. So if somebody's trying to get out of the get out of there, and you, you can lock them into the Seven Eleven, is that what I'm seeing? I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming it's gas station or something like that. But I don't understand why you would slide lock the outside. Yeah, that's yeah. that. Like I really can't figure that out, and it doesn't look like because sometimes those uh, those sliding bolts have like a like a deadbolt pull or function to lock it into the lock position. So I could see yeah. something like that happening, but I don't see any place where they would do something like that. That could be pretty concerning. Uh, like your customers could lock other people in to the store from the outside, or if you're holding up this place, like you could have your buddy outside, like. <laughs> Keep keeping people inside so they couldn't escape. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of liability that went right into that latch, and I'm still confused about why they would add that kind of latch. Well, you got you got the keyed one on right underneath too, right? So I just I don't even understand what that's doing. Do you that's think so there's some more sort more of a hurt. misalignment, and so they're using that to correct the alignment for when oh, they're to like prop the door it? either lower or higher? I mean, it looks aligned, but like that's the only thing I could come up with. It's pretty tight, but it's, yeah. it's tight on the bottom and not as much on the top. Over closes or like doesn't go all the way far enough, and you have to like push on the door to slide that just to get the key to engage. I uh, like that holds it in a little bit more. Yeah, so. yeah. and then you ah. can lock it. It's the only thing nice. I could come up with that was somewhat feasible as to why you would do this. Well, in that case, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, I, I didn't like, say okay. reasonable. I said feasible. <laughs> so it's, a, it's one of those hold my beers. I got you situations, right? But like with this one, this one doesn't even have a no, no key. Uh, yeah, that's no, perfect. No key. But it, I wonder if it does have a deadbolt on the inside. Spoiler alert. The keys on the other side. Oh, no. <laughs> so are we still inside the store or are we because it's a pool, which is weird. <laughs> this, this is the exterior. <laughs> Yeah. These are, like these, two, where two are different. these in relation to each other? Are they completely different facilities or is this like on this face and the other one's on this face? I know it's got to be the same place. I, I think it's on one side of the door and the other side of the door, like it, like on the on the building. So like this is like there's the main entrance, which and I feel a like side door. <laughs> but again, someone could like anyone that has a padlock on. I'm like, oh, you're closed today. That right there looks super sturdy. Anti crowbar. That's fantastic. These are these are funny. I have not seen these images either. Oh yeah, right in front of the, the instructions that people don't. Yeah, really what, what, what am I supposed to do with this door now? Like, I'm just supposed to pu this door? Poop. poop. <laughs> so so the the question is, what, you know, okay. So if the pull sign came first, why didn't these guys just move that up a little bit or down? Like, why did it have to be right in the middle of that sticker? They wanted it right there. I don't know. It seemed like the place to be. Maybe that's where they needed for it to engage the leaves together or the door to align did you take this I, no no okay. no i love the fact that you can see the, what look like possibly even uh steel toe boots and some rough jeans that look like it's somebody in industry recognizing the the problems here in the reflection yeah. yes for yeah. sure someone that knew better took these uh photos what if that hasp is one of those turn hasps and that's all they're doing to secure. You know how sometimes you put the hasp in and then the part that the padlock goes on in turns. Ah. So it's perpendicular to the thing. And they're like, good enough. We'll do yeah, that. Do turn? Like we'll it do just the slide closed? bolt. <laughs> that, that, that'll hold it. That, that <laughs> little hinge right there. Is keep the... 
<laughs> I would love to see how many screws are on this thing too on the back side. Well, the aluminum frame too looks misaligned, like where the well, half is. Something a little strange going on there. Like it's like two steps, but if you look down, it looks like it's the seams together. Well, it's definitely obviously two pieces, right? But I'm just right. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at there. I'm gonna go a lot higher on my rating on this thing for sure. It's I don't feel hard. like putting these type of locks on the outside makes sense, and then having the key one on the inside. Obviously, there's no access from the outside, right? So. If somebody forgets to unlock that one from the inside too, now you got to worry about that being a egress. Like there's there's a lot of weird stuff going on here. Yeah, I mean, this being a gas station, they're very limited on emergency egress like doors. So that's that's big no no on a means of egress. So and you have to have two, right? No matter what, there has to be two. So it depends on the occupancy, but most of them, yes. In in a retail environment, you have to have a minimum of two. So oh if this God. is the same building, imagine that somebody forgot to find the one and somebody accidentally latched the other one or any combination of those. Now you're down to one. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that they have a back emergency door because this could lead to some really scary situations really yeah. quickly. If someone with nefarious intent came in and understood or planned out something, you could really create a bad situation because you people couldn't get out. Would you think that maybe this is more so for visual appearance to deter any sort of crime? Like, you know, people don't understand the other types of hardware like that you guys have and so on. So when they see these type of locks that they recognize, they might be like, oh man, it's closed. We're not going to get through that. They're like, oh, it's got two locks on it. That yeah. I, I, can't, I can't do that. I can't. <laughs> I mean, the slider one, probably not as much, but the other one is uh, is pretty typical for, you know, small retailers where they pull down that little gate or mm -hmm. something. It's just a padlock of some sort. Yeah, no, I, I get it. It's like, it's just another level of deterrent, right? Like if someone wanted to break into this store, they would find a way to do it. It's just like, how much more difficult do you want to make it? And it looks like the, the shop owner or someone, just their their janitor facilities guy was like, I want to make it a little bit harder to for them to get in <laughs> just a little bit, just just a little bit harder, but not understanding how the hardware works. I, I'm still really confused about this guy. I why? <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> just it being on the outside is is so strange. It's like putting those on bathrooms on the outside moving forward and like public restrooms, you know. You live here now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any last comments? No, I mean, it, it's almost hard to even talk about this. It's just so strange and ridiculous at the same time where you're just kind of like sit back in awe. That's, that's crazy. I'm, I'm going to go much higher. I'm, I'm going to be prior like in a eight to nine range here. The doors are probably still functional as long as this little add-on isn't engaged. What's concerning, and I might have already said this, like anyone can engage that add-on. You could be exiting the store and not like the uh, people in there and just think it's a hilarious prank to to just throw both of those up. Okay. And, and you, they don't even need a lock for this one, just like a a, a, a pen. Screwdriver. Yeah. yeah, like a screwdriver or a, a wrench or something, uh, whatever could squeeze into that hole. You could... And that looks pretty tight too. So it could just out of friction almost hold itself there for a little bit too. Yeah. Okay. Is that your, you're going to go with that at eight or nine, Alex? Yeah. What's, your, what's your final answer? If you, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to stay somewhere between eight and nine. I'll go 8.5 just because I want to keep it in the middle, but it, it's definitely chaotic on, on the sense that like anybody can do it, right? There's no control and it's dangerous. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you. I think whoever installed this needs a brain checkup of some sort because they're like, what, what, what's going through their mind? Also the, the opportunity, it's not that bad at surface level, but if someone took it to the next level, it could be very bad. So I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I'm a eight or a nine as well. Yeah. I'm in the same boat as you like to say, Benji, nobody should have done this, but at normal operation is probably fine, but it has the potential to be a catastrophic situation. Usually in my classes, when I used to teach in college, I, I would always ask my students what they would do if they could find a time machine. A lot of times people want to go back in time and see certain things either be invented or created, or like a group of people went out there and tried some berries and they found out which ones were not poisonous by seeing only a portion <laughs> of the group come back, right? Like these five are great. Don't try any of those and how they found out. But often I also wonder, like, I would just love to be there while people are having these conversations and solutions, almost just like a fly on the wall. Like just watch this develop from uh, idea to installation and what was said just to really see what people are thinking that that's what i would use a time machine for anthropologist 
right there. <laughs> That's right. Alex, it was great having you on the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for your time and your insights. Your 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 glazing perspective added some unique insight to these unique door fellows. Join us for the the next episode of Unhinged. Our doors are always open, partially because they're unhinged. If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, or if you have a photo to submit, you can email me at mia at doorhardwarenerds.com. Thanks for watching.